I was born in Scarborough. I was raised in Mississauga. People would say it's like a suburbs of Toronto. I was like, when I was like four. My dad had an Xbox, Xbox, like he had this some karaoke thing. He made Spencer used to always rap on it. And like, that was the first time I ever like actually like pay attention to like, people actually rapping. Like I'm like, oh, I can actually do this too. And I was like rapping. And then I was in private school. It was like only, only, only black people. It was like African type school. Like, like, like roots, like they, like they focus more on your roots and shit like that. We had a field trip to go to the studio with Jazzy, Jazzy Fair or something like that. Well, I just, this teacher, and she said write a song. So I wrote, I wrote the song, it was, it was called Soldiers. I remember it was like me and four other students on it. It was my first song ever, like perfect, like professional like song. I was like, I was like 14, 14, I was young. I was the first song I ever, ever made and like from then, I just, I just kept going. the drip. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It was the, it was the sauce. Like, I had the, the water. I think the purpose for that song was to show people that, because like, around from Toronto wasn't really on this, like, this whole drip, this whole water, this whole sauce shit. So like, the point was to get Toronto on the sauce, because like, there's, there's a lot of corny people out there that doesn't, they had the sauce, like, I had to come show them, like, yeah, drip, drip water, that's why everybody's on the sauce shit right now, you know? Everybody knows me from, like, if you see me, it's like, drip, water, like, everybody knows, like, Mr. Water, Mr. Yaya, yeah, like, I had like four songs about water. They were like, this guy loves water a lot. I'm like, yeah. I'll I have like, I have lots of songs about water now. You drink, man. Jokes are real, nigga. He, he DM me, he said he saw water on YouTube. It was honestly like four days after I dropped Run It Up. He said he's he seen that, he DM me and said Run It Up was hard. And so like, I pulled out to Atlanta, met me linked up, and just, we just, we've been cool since then, my boy. He told me it's, it's all about networking. Like, you, have, you have hit records, but like, if you just stay in your house with the hit records, it's like not gonna go anywhere. You have to know people. You have to go. You have to go to studios, different, meet different rappers. They do like you have to move around basically. I'm not gonna lie. When I was in Atlanta, I met so many people by just being around. Like go to the studio, you just like Uzi will pop up. Like just, just by being there. Like what I like about Atlanta, like, no one, no one acts like they're too big. Like people, like people will be big and they'll still like with like the, the, the middle people trying to get to the big top. You gotta, you gotta go out. You gotta go different different cities. You gotta just network. That's what he showed me and just just work like 100 percent. Never stop working. I dropped a remix to um, Marshmallow and Marie's friend song. Better than the original, but yeah, um, hard, hard song. I guess everybody's seen the song. Like Timbaland hit me up, Bad Baby hit me up. Like a lot of people hit me up. Like, like it was like two days. Like the song hasn't even been out for like a month now. The song's been out for like a week and like a week and a half now. And like so many people are hitting me. It's it's at 300k already. It's crazy. It's, cause it's a different song. Like, I started a new wave. Like, it doesn't sound like it sound like, no, no. It's like pop, rock, trap, sauce, Tory, you know? It's different shit. Tim Blinn did me. Told me I'm hard. The song was hard. He's in Miami. He's gonna link soon. Hopefully, you know, he's working. I can see me and him on some beats too. Like, cause like, the friends is like, I can see him making like some pop shit. Like, friends, like, like do some hits. I never ate meat in my life, man. 22 years. Vegan man, roster man, man. No pork, no chicken, no. I don't even drink milk. I don't eat cheese. No dairy, no products. You know all that shit, man. Real, real, real healthy man, man. But I do, I do sip honey, so it's like it like cancels it out. But like, I'm vegan. So I have energy. My mom's, like, my shows, come on your toy show, man. You be like, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah, like I'm, I'm lit, man. Even in the studio, people like, like I'm always, I'm just always jumpy. Cause like. A lot of energy. I'm like the first roster rapper ever, man. Like you know, the actual real roster rapper, like rapper. There's, there's like Damian Molly, those guys are like not rappers. I'm not, I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist. And I, got, I, don't, I don't just rap, I do, I do a lot of stuff. But I'm like the first real roster in the game, a real vegan man, you know? New York has the best vegan food, that's what people all sleep. Like, Toronto has a vegan food, but I'm not gonna lie, it's trash. Like, America has the best vegan food. Like, I, I love coming here, I be getting fat off of vegan food. But how you getting fat off of vegan food? Yeah, bro, that's vegan food, man. <laughs> Little baby, gonna Juice World. I'm gonna do a video on Cole Bennett. I wanna, um, I wanna work with 808 Mafia. I wanna work with, um, what's that guy? I wanna work with Scott, Scott Storch, Uzi. Who's that? What's that guy? Oh, I wanna work with Katy Perry. I wanna work with, um, Adele. I wanna do something with Adele. I just wanna work with different people. And like, everybody killing shit right now.
I just want to start a whole new wave in the country. They're like, I already started doing shit already. Like, I, I'm, I'm doing like the songs on the country beats, but like, it's different, man. So I'm starting, I'm starting a whole new wave out here. It's coming, man. Y'all better like, the, the, the wave. You're gonna drown. It's, it's, it's on the way, man. I get Freddie Watt comparisons. I get Young Thug comparisons. I get all the comparisons. I think I don't sound like anybody in the game, honestly. Like, I, sometimes they'll say Freddie Watt. I don't really see the Freddie Watt, but like, I think I have my own voice. My voice is different, and like. I don't try to sound like anybody else. That's some music so everybody can relate to it, like vibe to it, go to parties. You can, you can when it's sad, you can play it when you're sad. I don't. I just want all different type of music. Water, Mr. Water, yeah.